because there's no such thing as dragons, really. Um, what? Well, Darn. <laughs> Well, congratulations on the show. What a, a punk rock, punk rock ride. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So what's it like being part of this quirky world? I mean, I describe it as punk punk because everyone seems to be just off kilter and, you know, personalities everywhere and fantasy. It is absolutely a roller coaster ride. It was one of the, one of the most uh, fun times I've had uh, uh, shooting the show, which is great. And it was just so, it's so unique and kind of individual um, and original. Um, so every day we were always going, what's going to happen now? You know, you know, what's the set going to be like? And, and the crazy, you know, even like uh, the extras, uh, everybody just looked so surreal. It was just a, a crazy world to, to work in every day. And uh, there's something in common with your previous work. Of course, people recognize you from Game of Thrones as Beric. Oh, um, yeah. There's a little dragon, <laughs> and yeah. there's a little wink at you. Was that was that a? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. It's such a cute little dragon. That one. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> so we're gonna see a lot of dragon action here too. We're gonna see a lot of dragon action. We're gonna see goblins, trolls, giants, um, weird magic. Yeah. um invisible birds um yeah there's there's uh there's there's a lot of and um, there's a lot of weird stuff in this it's hard to describe isn't it it's like yeah you know, it is it, that's why you call it a show. punk rock ride because it's just out there <laughs> yeah it's punk it's it's punk rock comedy it's punk rock shock <laughs> and i must say your petticoat is super cool i like that look uh, that you got going it's kind of little pirate little punk rock <laughs> thank you yeah yeah, the, the uh, I, I, I really like the three quarter length coat thing, you know, which kind of suggests an antiquity mm. that he's from the old school of the watch, you know, and all the new guys are all smart little doublets. Yeah. But uh, no, I, that was my idea. I really wanted um, the, the, the boots to be prominent, um, obviously, and the, the coat to have a kind of a swish. Because I really believe that uh, if you can recognize a character by, by the silhouette, then you know it's kind of iconic and um, and uh, yeah so i i loved i loved the look i loved the look of sam now the show is based on a set of novels by sir terry pratchett pratchett and there's i guess he was they're very important because he was knighted absolutely yeah i mean it's, it's become like you know like hp sauce or something which is brown <laughs> sauce yeah in, uh, in england yeah um he's 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 a genius the guy was just incredible to to, to to create these just playful, spiritual, hopeful stories that all have a, a, a lovely kind of a moral tale. And for you, your, vo your voice is so uh, low and deep in this one. I mean, your voice is already uh, deep, but do you have to go an extra pitch lower for this character? Yeah, yeah, because I, 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 I love the idea of you know, uh, Humphrey Bogart in The African Queen, mm. you know, that kind of grizzled. Uh, <laughs> and I, you know, and whiskey and cigars tends to do that to, to, to people's voices. So it literally, his voice is down in his boots. He's a rawr, bit of a growler. <laughs> and so uh, since you have to deal with a lot of these fantasy elements, do you work um, on a green screen, on a set? What's the environment like? Well, they, they, a lot of the special effects were, um, as they say, um, you can see the handprint on it. Um, we tried to avoid green screen because we wanted it like handmade films, you know, Time Bandits, the, yeah. that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Baron Munchausen and all those weird Terry Gilliam things. Uh, we, we, we wanted to make it as real as possible, like Tritus, that nine foot troll. That's a guy inside uh, a suit. Wow. Um, and he's an incredible, he's a stunt guy, but he, he's an incredible performance to act through all, all that, that, you know, the prosthetics and everything. Mm -hmm. So there, obviously there was some green screen because there's no such thing as dragons really. 
Um, what? But, Darn. <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, know most of it, most of it uh, that you see, goblins, everything, um, a, a lot of them, those sets, um, and some of those sets are in the wilderness out in, you know, in, in Cape Town or in South Africa, which is just extraordinary. Yeah, and it's not an earth you recognize, it's a parallel universe. That's what you kind of yes. have to wrap your head around, right? Yeah, it's familiar. It's familiarly unfamiliar, yeah. but familiar in a weird way. It's almost like um, it's 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 almost like um, like something that you've seen. You know what I mean? Maybe it was on. It's almost like it, it it's it's always been there. That's what I mean. It's like Star Wars, you know, in a galaxy far, far away, and it happened a long time ago, or it's going to happen in the future, but. It just exists in its own little bubble and um, it's very real. All right, well, thank you so much. It's a wacky ride, so I highly recommend it for people who even if we're not aware with the aware of the uh, the novels, I'm sure they'll get a trip out of well, it. Well, I don't think you don't, you don't need to have read the novels at all. You know, I, I, I think just, just jump in and have an open mind and prepare and hold on to the sides.